Hey guys, this is Noor Bhargav Kareer from TechiePad here and welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'll be doing the unboxing and giving you the first look of this, the Asus TUF FX705 GE Gaming Laptop. And in this video, we'll be doing the unboxing and also I'll be showing you the first boot up process, the physical overview of this laptop and the initial impressions about this laptop. So sit back and enjoy this video. Let's go! So guys, you can see that this is the box for the Asus TUF gaming laptop, the FX705, okay? And as you can see, first of all, let me comment on the uh, condition of the box that is since my previous videos, you have been observing that the box's conditions weren't that great, but here I have got a very nicely packed box and I think it's in a mint condition also and first of all you can see no damages also anywhere you have the DTS headphone written over here Intel inside the Asus branding the TUF gaming and and so on at the back side you can see that it is given something about the batteries information and you have see it is it is given over here FX705 G the model number of the laptop so now let us just open up this box and Firstly, when you open up the box, we have to open it up this way because it's opening from here. And all right. So yes, this is how you open up the box. And as you can see that first of all, you will notice, wait, the laptop is, is quite big. Why is that? Because you, normally the normal laptops have a uh, diagonal uh, measurement of around 15.6. You can say 15.6 inches screen, but this is a 17.3 inches screen and it is quite good that's what i've heard okay and i'll be talking about the specifications in the upcoming clips of this video anyway so first of all this is wrapped in something uh, and let us just take it out and on taking it out you can see this is a gunmetal finish color of this laptop some gold embedding on the over here and similar layout look to the asus rog laptops which i have reviewed previously and i'll be talking about all the uh, specifications of these laptops in the upcoming clips what else do we get is this you have some instruction manual as to what is about the laptop power safety and so on you have something related to this a quick start guide you can say about this laptop and here you have your charging cable so this is the charging cable as you can see and also you get your charging brick and since this is wrapped in plastic you may or may not be able to see the uh, current ratings and all that so i'll just read it out to you it is uh, it is around 19.5 to 9 19.5 volt and 9.23 ampere so it is around 180 watt charger so it's much more powerful than the previous uh, laptop chargers which i had reviewed anyway so that's all what we get inside the box so now let us quickly get to what is about the laptop so firstly let us start with the top of the laptop and as you can see that this is in a gunmetal color it's a matte finish all right and i don't think this is going to be an issue regarding the fingerprint magnet or maybe because i think they have polished in some other color uh, or coating due to which i cannot even uh, spot any fingerprints on this lid which i maybe i'm trying to put it on there but it's still not coming anyways you have this asus logo over here and i'm not sure whether this glows or not all right which i'll have to find out later in the upcoming clips or maybe the next videos and uh, this is in the metallic color all right and and uh, this is a gold or a copper metallic finish or something over here and now let us move to the left hand side and the right hand side of this laptop and this is the back uh, this is the back and that's the front side on the left hand side you can see that you have the charging port over here you have the rj45 lan port finally in some gaming laptop i've seen this of asus thank god it's included in this you have the hdmi port you have a usb 3.1 port and you have two usb 2.0 ports and this is a headphone jack which is a combination of a headphone jack as well as a microphone on the 
right hand side you can see that there is no other ports except this Kensington lock and the outlet for the fan at the back side just below the screen you have two vents over here one and two for the cooling fan purposes and this is some mesh grill design you have it over here and at the bottom side we will go because there is nothing to show on the front side because there's nothing over there let me just zoom in this for you guys and as you can see that you have some various design over here designs over here for cooling purposes okay and uh, first of all i will have to bring to your notice that on this side you can see this slit one and slit two these are the speakers for this laptop okay and this is the windows logo and you have some stickers given over here regarding the serial number and make of the battery the laptop and etc etc so now that's all about the outside now let's get to the inside of this laptop so now let us talk about the screen of this laptop so first of all you can see that this is a 17.3 inches screen and it has a ratio of 16 is to 9 and it's an led backlit full hd display with a resolution of 1920 into 1080 also if you observe that this is a 144Hz anti-glare IPS display panel which has a 72% NTSC and it is with that IPS technology so basically this type of display will have a very good viewing angles and also it will have a great resolution while gaming and so on unfortunately I thought this is going to be a 4K but no this is not a 4K display but this will support 4K because of the core specifications in this laptop and now let's get to the keyboard of this laptop all right so let us talk about the keyboard of this laptop and first of all to note that this is an rgb backlit keyboard and that's pretty nice that in they're offering the rgb keyboard in this kind of a laptop and the key travel is around 1.8 millimeters and something is called as the overstroke technology is also present in this so here over they have used this wasd key group and so they have highlighted this i have no idea why is that and uh, that's all this overstroke technology basically registers the keystrokes faster for precise and effortless control that's what is according to the aces website and you will be able to change the kind of the backlit colors and so on from various modes and which i'll be talking about later in the upcoming clips and you have the mouse pad over here again finish in matte and it is again kind of it will be a fingerprint magnet not like the lid which is given behind here but all right this can be dealt with you have your status lights over here as you can, I won't be able to show you right now I'll show you in the you can see on the screen and you have this cooling vent also right over here you have a power button over there you have some stickers over here but what is about the laptop the cooling fans the 144 hz i7 processor and so on so now let us give it the first boot up to this laptop so now let us just boot up this laptop and here we go asus the logo comes over here that common windows logo spinning so this comes with windows 10 inbuilt let me just say decrease the exposure of my camera so you'll be able to see the operating system better and now as you can see that yes this is the default wallpaper which comes with this laptop and i love this wallpaper honestly and it is some about the power saving scheme and so on wait let me show you something guys oh, i was talking about the backlit keyboard you can see right over there the backlit keyboard how it is working so this is the type of designs which you'll be able to change and i will show you that later in the upcoming clips because this is the first initial overview now let us talk about what else do we get inside the is laptop so now let us press ctrl i and uh, let's go to system let's go to about and as you can see on the screen let me just zoom in this for you and a bit more focus yeah and you can see that this is the i7 processor 8750h the high performance processor which is clocked at 2.2 gigahertz and 2.21 gigahertz i don't know what is this given here you have an 8 gb ram but you can expand it to around 16 gigs of ram in this uh, 16 sorry 32 gigs of ram in this laptop you have the device id and so on and that's all now let's talk about the storage i talked about the ram and the processor 
the nvidia graphic processor also i need to talk about so let me just right click over here and we go to nvidia and uh, this opens up the control panel of the nvidia processor and if possible i'll just yeah you can see over there let me just show you guys over there that this is the nvidia gtx 1060 so that's good it's a 6 gb uh, vram model and i'm happy that asus finally put this uh, graphic processor into this laptop and now let's proceed ahead to what do we have here so we go to this pc and as you can see let me just zoom in again for you so first of all you will be able to observe that this is our 256 gigs ssd and this is a 1 tb 5400 rpm hd sata hdd okay so operating system is installed on the ssd while you can import all your data on this hdd and you can make partitions and so on and i think that's all what you guys need to know right now about in this video so now let us conclude this video so that's all guys about this quick unboxing and the first look of this laptop so i hope you guys enjoyed this video so if you like this video please hit the like button and if you am subscribed to my channel techie parry this is your first time my name is noel padgaokar and this is my channel techie parry do subscribe if you have any comments or any feedback please do leave it in the comment section of this video please share this video and i'll see you guys in my next video